श्रीपति वंदना चौहान सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑन स्पीकिंग ऑन द वर्किंग ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर कंसिडरिंग द टाइम आई विल डेफिनेटली मेक श्योर दैट यू डोंट हैव टू रिंग द बेल सर आर कंट्री सर हैज रिकॉर्डेड सेवरल गेन्स इन हेल्थ इंडिकेटर्स ओवर द पास्ट ईयर्स बट इंडिया स्टिल कंटिन्यूज टू लैग इन सेवरल हेल्थ इंडिकेटर्स एंड मच सो इन मोर्टैलिटी रेट्स एंड माल न्यूट्रिशन so the challenges like climate change also has thrown up several challenges as far as vector diseases are uh, are concerned which are increasing day by day sir our country carries a disproportionate burden of the world sick home to 17.5% of the earth's population it accounts to 20% of global burden of disease 27 of all neonatal deaths and 21% of all deaths of young children below 5 years so the country's uh, the government's allocation to healthcare as a percentage of the country's gross domestic product has fallen to 1.05% in 2015-16 from 1.47% in 1986 and 87 sir so lower public health spending we have realized is alarming because it's re it results in shooting up of healthcare services for every citizenry so health survey, uh, surveys of the national sample survey organization the nsso show that since 1990s the dependence of indians on private healthcare has sharply risen which is certainly sir not welcome in 1986 87 60% of people availed of public health services and the rest private but in 2014 sir this trend has reversed and only For 41% avail of public health care. This is so uh, alarming, and I hope the ministry looks into this very, very, uh, 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 very sincerely. So the decline in dependence on public health is even sharper in urban areas, from 60% in 1986-87 to almost 32% in 2014, sir. The impact of expenditure on medical care is clearly catastrophic. and therefore needs to be addressed because it really hampers the poorest of the poor families and now even the middle class so families are forced to cover expenses by carving out their savings by borrowing from various sources and even selling assets so if you see in rural india 67.8% of families are reported that they met such cost from savings 24.9% reported that they were forced to borrow money and 0.8% reported that they had to sell their assets like land and jewelry which is absolutely alarming so we have to realize that only a minority is protected by any form of insurance in spite of the wide claim made by publicly funded social health insurance schemes like rashtriya swasthya bima yojana only 14% of people in rural areas and 18% in urban areas are found to have some form of publicly funded insurance therefore i urge the minister to really look into this seriously and try to make sure that this cover increases for more people unfortunately sir we are steadily moving on a path where every illness in the household will push the entire family into more and more poverty and into a financial trap so with nearly half a billion people in this country a lot more remains to be done to ensure the sorry children in this country more to be done and to ensure their survival growth development of india's greatest asset as we know is the children so the lowering of the icds schemes the budget provision is also very very alarming sir such an approach of lowering funds of uh, meant for children's health sir is is something which cannot be accepted and therefore this approach to a welfare program which is so crucial to the health of the next generation reflects a poor set of development priorities so the government must focus on states with a large burden of stunted underweight children unfortunately even in a in a state like maharashtra which is supposed to be a very uh, pro prosperous state even there we find that several children even in urban areas are stunted and malnutrition and therefore the government needs to look into this very very seriously empirical evidence sir on effectiveness of supplementary nutrition should prompt the center to enhance funding of the icds schemes 
Sir, the, a lot has been spoken about communicable and non-communicable uh, diseases. The lifestyle diseases which we see due to climate change, due to respiratory, um, due to the pollution uh, in the cities, due to polluted water, several citizens have to uh, 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 experience uh, respiratory diseases and waterborne diseases. But a lot has been said here, and therefore I will not take up that point. But one last point which I would like to make, sir, which probably has not been touched upon, that India is currently suffering a mental health crisis. There are 43, only 43 government-run mental hospitals serving a population of 1.2 billion, sir. What's more, mental illness is highly stigmatized in India, especially among women who are typically committed to mental health facilities with no legal rights, receiving involuntary treatment, and sometimes even without proper diagnosis, sir. Mental disorders afflict five crore of the Indian population, and we are really not serious about it, and need special care. Eighty percent of our districts do not have even one a psychiatrist in public service. Psychiatrists need to be encouraged to get into public service and serve these people. Sir, WHO estimates that roughly 36 percent of Indians are depressed. There's stigma attached to any mental health problem with the implication the victim is responsible for with the implication that the victim himself is responsible for it so conscious effort needs to be made to create awareness about this and made made to realize that depression is not a mental disease which makes him typically uh, somebody who has lost his head but needs treatment and can be really uh, improved a report states that, sir, for every 1 lakh Indians between 15 and 29 years old, 36 commit suicide annually. This is the highest rate among the youths in the world, sir. Until 2014, India spent less than 1% of its health budget on mental health. I urge the government, I urge the Honorable Minister that this aspect needs to be looked into and I, uh, I, I make a sincere request that there needs to be heightened awareness amongst citizens. We need to institution, institutionalize a mechanism where this awareness is created amongst people and help is uh, reached out. And lastly, sir, we need to raise the outlay for the health services in total. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you.